check out these legends when you've got a spare chance. So my auntie came around today, she made some uh, like ch classic Chinese stuff. There's some spring onion, uh, green oil with soy sauce in it, was delicious. That's some sea bass and black bean, some duck there, all really good. This is like poached steamed chicken, sort of like Hainese chicken, but not quite. It's, it's the same really, it's just we don't eat it the same. We are off to Bristol today to do a stop run, uh, Yi Hong, but... I'm hoping it's just a slow pipe curve, we'll see. So we were on our, why is it so, where's that flare coming from? So we were on our way to Bristol, but the car has started to overheat. We took it to the fucking garage beforehand and essentially they, they couldn't find anything wrong with it and they just thought it was like a code error, but now it's telling, the instruments are telling me the engine's overheating and stuff like that. So we've had to, pull over from Bridgewater, which is about 40 minutes away from us, three or four times to cool the engine down so that we can get home. Which, to be honest, isn't that bad. The back garage we went to were really good as well, so it's not like um, they didn't foresee this, it's just unfortunate. But I really need a shit, like okay. really need it. We're quite literally about two minutes drive away, but I didn't want to risk it because it's the water temperature is up to 130 now and it's in red has been there for a minute and because I couldn't find anywhere to pull over. So I'm two minutes away from home, literally. And he's going to shit himself. And, I, and there's a, a track down there and I'm thinking about going down there, but I'm not because I can't do it. I just can't bring myself to shit out there because I need toilet paper. Go, go and poo in that field of horses. No, I'm going to, I'm going to switch the engine back, not the engine, but if it's, come down okay it's come down to 120 and it's not in the red anymore so i'm going to risk this last leg and if the car blows up i'll let you know and if he shits himself i'll let you know I've, i'm not even joking <laughs> i'm so close i've had an emodium as well and it's still not going away back in work even though i should be at the warehouse today but because i couldn't get the stuff i needed we're not at the warehouse we're here uh, which is fine it's just it's, i was gonna be at work anyway it's not like not a difference, but I managed to get that poo in the end. It was really good. Thanks for um, wondering. But so I've just, we've dropped it off to the garage and I wasn't explaining it very well, I don't think, but essentially what happened is the coolant light came on last time, took it to the garage. We've just had that whole system changed. So it's still under warranty. They can't find an issue with that system. So they said it must be software. So it's fine to drive around, been driving it around. And then I just noticed on the in um, instrument panel that the oil was at 144 or 48 and the water was on red and at 130 degrees C. So I pulled over obviously, waited for it to cool down there. Yeah, and then it took a couple of trips home to get home because I didn't want to blow up the engine obviously. So that's a massive issue, but you know, just the way it is. So the car has gone to the garage, been there all weekend. Obviously they don't work at the weekend. It means that I've been able to ride the bike a lot though, just to get us places. I don't realize, didn't? I don't, didn't realize how much I actually drove about. So in the last two and a half days, I've put nearly 300 miles on my bike, which isn't ideal because it's a Ducati and I want to keep the miles down on it, which is what my CBR was for to ride about but you know i can't do that at the moment because it's in pieces but yeah hopefully today we'll hear back because it's monday today whether or not uh they can fix it i think it's a block a blockage in the uh discombobulator thing i know my cars may bristol today on another stock run not took spots there but they're not the scars um and i'm using mum and dad's car today because our car is still broken like we've got to take it to the Audi garage, but initially they were saying that there was a problem with um, the software, but Audi says it sounds like there's a blockage or an air bubble trapped in our coolant system. So just the diagnostic test is about 210 quid. Fun times, but they, I mean, that's what you get when you buy an Audi, I expect, I expect, I suppose. Can't really complain. I mean, I'm complaining, but at the same time, a moron for not um, expecting it when I did expect it. So I am a moron, don't get me wrong. It's just I, 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 it's not on this particular occasion. Okay, on this particular occasion, because I was slightly nerfed off, 
that just a diagnostic test was 200 quid. But you know, has to be done. Anyway, stop run today. I don't think we'll be eating there today because I need to get back because I'm playing Warhammer later. And if you don't know what that is, it's the nerdiest, well, one of the nerdiest games you can possibly play because we build miniatures, paint them. Mine aren't painted because I'm a scruff. And play war games with them with specific rules. Like, it's not just like we're going, oh, I'm going to shoot you there. We roll dice, we move, we have movements, we take turns. And then in our heads, we imagine that these little things are alive and they're shooting at each other. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there isn't nowadays. Nerd culture or geek culture is is considered mainstream. When I was growing up, you were, you were like basically a pariah if you said, even said, or if, you, if you even looked at a Pokemon, you would have been accused of being a nerd and it was not a good thing. Nowadays, well, I didn't actually care about them because I still collected in front of everyone. I never gave a shit, that's the thing. It's like, if I want to fucking do this, I'm going to do this, regardless of how much you take the piss out of me because I don't give a shit. Dusty Ute walking by there. I've actually just remembered what I was about to rant at. This um, woman came in our, sh our shop the other day and essentially her son has a nut allergy and she came up to the counter, said, are there any nuts in this? One of us has an allergy. And then changed her answer after Lydia questioned her because she overheard it. Changed it to no, no one has. And then he went, are you sure? She goes, well, my son has a nut allergy to a nut. We're not sure what it is. He was violently sick when he had it once. And then they did that whole, oh, we've eaten here before thing. I said, yeah, but you were lucky last time. So Lydia said, I don't feel comfortable cooking for you. So we can't serve you, I'm afraid. And by law, we're allowed to say that because if it can cause harm to anyone, we can say, sorry, we can't serve you. Health and safety people have said that to me many times. And in fact, they've said to me, that's actually really good protocol. Because you've got to remember, us by turning down custom is us not getting paid for that. I want to make you your food because I want to be able to afford a Ferrari one day. I don't want to be turning people away. And anyway, she just went, oh, this is disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting that I want to keep you and your family safe. Well, Lydia did. I wasn't there because I've been um, finishing up the cookbook, not writing it, taking photos. It's all written now, by the way. Pre-order it if you haven't already. Now! The new cookbook is now written, part de. So it sh that should be off within to print within the next week or so, at most, I think. I've just got to get the photos done. So, yeah, which is very exciting. Anyway, and she was just throwing a hissy fit, saying, oh, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely disgusting. You people are disgusting. I can't believe... Well, what I can't believe is that you're willing to put your son at risk and we're trying to do the good thing and say, look, we're not comfortable with this because we could put him at risk. And rather than, you know, take your money, which in my opinion is more disgusting, you then have the filthy, like a genuine filthy, vulgar, almost, what's the word I'm looking for? Twattish sort of opinion that we're the ones in the wrong. No, you're the one genuinely you're the one in the wrong if i had a kid and i knew it could <laughs> could be violently sick i wouldn't fucking risk it because i would care and then just to start screaming that in our, our place when you know all we're trying to do is protect you and your family fuck us right fucking dickhead i really i really wish i was there because she's never going to come back in again so i'll just make sure that we never serve her because she's probably going to be lying next time Anyway, just thought I'd throw that one out there. I'm a nice little rant about something that I haven't done for a while. I've d I don't really like ranting anymore. Not that I don't have rants. It's the fact that I think a lot of the time they don't deserve my rants. But this, in this particular occasion, like the trolls, I, 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 I just don't care anymore. Yeah, it was funny to begin with. And now I started ranting for the sake of it. And I, I stopped caring. So I stopped ranting about the trolls. I just thought, well, if I don't really care, why am I ranting about it? just you get so used to it being on social media like they lit their their opinion so literally their opinion means absolutely fuck all to me now it's like you're probably sitting at home wanking into a sock genuinely they if they if that's the best thing going in their or that I'm the most important thing in their life at that very moment in time I'm the one winning so it's just well done well done
So I've got some really good news. Uh, we've been granted our alcohol license, which is fan fucking fantastic, which means that people can now come in and buy alcohol when we buy some to sell. I had to go through a lot of hoops to get that actually. Um, so yeah, when we can go and get the stock for that, we will start selling the alcohol, which is actually really, really something I'm looking forward to because it'd be nice to be able to have a beer at work. <laughs> That's so bad, isn't it? Oh, it does open up a whole world of revenue, which is essentially why do my ears look so big today. Anyway, so yeah, I'm really psyched about that. Really happy about that. This is meant to be summer, fuck me, the hell no. I was ready to well, I was planning to go out for a ride. Fuck that! <laughs> Jeez! Look at that! It's just absolutely pissing it down. God, they're big chunks as well. And that's it for this vlog today. Thank you very much to all the patrons for your support and keep watching.